Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this weather briefing. Here we're going to discuss a couple atmospheric rivers that are going to now affect much of California over the next couple of days. This will bring steady to locally heavy rain to parts of Southern California all the way through Thursday evening. My name is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. Reminder to check the latest incoming and ongoing rainfall on RadarWeather.gov. This is a depiction as of the recording showing the leading edge of the next round of significant precipitation. What's going on? Well, uh, we've had some light precipitation today during this recording. We are looking at much more precipitation developing over the next 48 hours. Why? Well, we have a weather disturbance, L, that'll move through tonight. You can see it located just off southwest California, moving towards the California Bight. Very clear, that strong system moving towards our region. Upstream, yet there's another system that looks to arrive Wednesday afternoon and take a similar path across Southern California. Now a bigger storm is upstream and that's what's tapping into the main atmospheric river. That's expected to arrive Wednesday night and continue all the way through Thursday. The green shaded areas and where the arrow is pointed is that tongue of moisture or that atmospheric river that'll be picked up and brought into Southern California on Thursday. All right, so first let's talk about what's already happened. We've seen widespread precipitation over the past 48 hours. Some of the numbers uh, in blue here are an inch to an inch and a half and locally up to two inches of water has fallen on the coastal slopes of the San Bernardino Mountains. It's also been in the form of snow, uh, four to eight inches above 6,000 feet. Even a couple inches of snow has occurred at Mount Laguna in San Diego County. Most of valley locations have received anywhere from a half inch to locally up to an inch. And uh, we've also seen that kind of rainfall over some of the burn scars. All right. For tonight, we're seeing a significant disturbance that I showed you on satellite that'll swing through as shown here on the left. That will basically leave a narrow atmospheric river right over us and produce some heavy rainfall, especially northern areas, Orange County and San Bernardino County. Now, as we gear up into Wednesday night and Thursday, that larger system, and notice the lines become very tight, that's an indication of a stronger and windier, more energy involved with the next system coming Wednesday night and Thursday, that'll drive the atmospheric river towards us and it'll arrive on Thursday as shown to the right. What am I talking about with the atmospheric river? Well, what it is, is a concentrated area of very high moisture levels. It doesn't mean it's tropical. Um, the moisture can be coming from the Western Pacific and be coming from down near the equator. But what's important is that the moisture content is very high and concentrated and driven by strong winds. Those arrows I show you there. So as we move into Wednesday and Wednesday night, that big cyclone in the Pacific that you saw on the satellite that's well upstream, will draw all that moisture towards California, first central and then southern. By the time we get into Thursday, even though it's weakened a little bit, that concentrated area or that atmospheric river will be right over southern California, producing some really heavy rain for the mountains of southern California, especially the Santa Ana Mountains, San Gabriel, and San Bernardino Mountains. Here's the big picture. Across the state over the next few days, we'll see widespread precipitation valleys, even some in the deserts, the mountain locations, generally three to six inches of additional rain. Uh, a lot of our uh, valleys and coastal areas, anywhere from one to two, with locally around three for the Inland Empire and Orange County. And then, of course, some getting into the deserts as much as a half inch to an inch, such as the Coachella Valley. Here's a zoomed up view of the latest precipitation forecast through Thursday night. The deep red areas indicated here are up to six to seven inches. A lot of that coastal foothills or coastal slope area in the Inland Empire and the San Bernardino Mountains will receive three to five inches. 
All the way down into Orange County, some of our metro areas, two to three inches. The Santa Ana Mountains, as much as six in that red shaded area. Now, it does taper significantly when you go further south, so it's not like it doesn't rain, but the rain is much lighter. Uh, northern San Diego County should do better than southern. A slight shift in that atmospheric river, you could see these amounts shift north or south. Um, so the northern mountains in San Diego County should do very well too, as well as the Riverside County Mountains, such as the Idlewild area. Very significant precipitation from basically two systems moving through, one tonight and then one Wednesday night and Thursday. Some of the details here, I'll let you read this over. It looks like a steady rain will take over the area. Uh, we saw some rain this morning, a steady rain for late today and tonight. Uh, and that rain will increase in intensity, especially over Orange County and the San Bernardino foothills, the coastal slopes. Some wind gusts in the mountains. It's still cold enough for snow, so we should see several inches of snow just above 6,000 feet and uh, 6 to 10 in the uh, ski resort level and a slushy accumulation down to 5,500 feet. So still cold enough to snow uh, from this round of precipitation. All right, it's the details here for round number one. Uh, today and tonight, it looks like the orange shaded areas will receive two or three inches of precipitation by early Wednesday morning. Uh, lighter amounts, around a quarter to half inch over San Diego County. Uh, but do note some significant precipitation across the Orange County area from Ontario all the way down to Santa Ana. So a significant band to set up tonight across that area. Uh, snowfall that I mentioned looks to be confined to um, about 5,500 feet and several inches in our city locations and uh, over a half a foot to near a foot in our ski resorts. Now the San Diego mountains, um, just a little bit of slushy snow again for about 6,000 feet. For Wednesday, we'll see a little bit of a break perhaps in the morning and then things will start to heat back up in terms of precipitation moving in off the ocean. We're also gonna see the snow levels go up by Wednesday afternoon to above 6,500 feet. So um, the snow is going to start becoming very wet up above ski resort level. Some of the heavier showers by Wednesday afternoon could be about a quarter of an inch per hour, especially across Orange County and the coastal slopes of San Bernardino, the Inland Empire areas. All right, the wind on Wednesday uh, will be increasing as well as the atmospheric river starts getting closer and we'll see some gusts uh, in the 40s to 50s in those yellow shaded areas. Um, most places gusts 25 to 30 in the coast and valleys. All right, the highlights for Wednesday night, Thursday. This is the main atmospheric river. Widespread precipitation from San Diego northward with considerably heavier precipitation from Orange County to southwest San Bernardino and western riverside and and targeting the coastal slope areas rising snow levels probably above 7500 feet wednesday night and thursday morning really windy conditions developing with wind gusts of 60 plus um, we are going to see some snow accumulation initially um, but primarily above 8,000 feet so that really puts you above the ski resort level uh, when we really get into the warmth of this atmospheric river Rainfall rates in general a tenth to two tenths, but but along the coastal slopes we could see many hours, as much as 18 hours of a quarter to a half inch per hour, and that's why we could really add up those numbers. That's like from Yokaipa to Crestline to Devore to Rancho Cucamonga down to uh, the foothills of the Santa Ana Mountains. Here's the round two estimates. So a little bit more, this is the atmospheric river portion and we see widespread two to three inches along the coastal slopes, additional amounts uh, spreading down into the Santa Ana foothills as well. For the Inland Empire and the cities of um, Orange County, inch to an inch and a half, additional rainfall. We also see some significant rain now spill down into San Diego County, especially the northern portions where you could see a half inch to an inch on Thursday. Snowfall, well, because of the rising snow levels, this area really shrinks now Wednesday night and Thursday. And it's really going to be confined to about 8,000 feet, which is our highest pass level. And most of the ski resorts end at that level too. So right up around 9,000 feet is the primary area 
where you'll see um, some significant snowfall. Very wet snow, however, so some concern for avalanches up at that elevation. The wind will be a factor. I mentioned in the map before the tightening gradient, those lines and that atmospheric river, which is driven by wind. The wind will become really strong on spillover to our desert. So we expect um, breezy conditions for the coast and valleys, but certainly windy conditions along our mountains that could be uh, locally damaging. We could see some wind gusts of uh, 60 miles per hour, uh, perhaps even some peaks of 70. Summary. This is what we're looking at. We're looking at a couple of storms. The first two kind of come in a package late today and tonight. And they also bring snow. Generally light precipitation, but widespread um, precipitation. And it could be heavy and will be heavy along the coastal slopes of Orange County and southwest San Bernardino. That's where tonight we could see some urban uh, small stream flooding. Uh, there is a threat for debris flows certainly some rock slides, and then snow-covered roadways up around 6,000 feet. Atmospheric River, the main atmospheric river approaches on Wednesday with rising snow levels, with a leading of, of that moisture. Steady to heavy rainfall for the coastal slopes of Orange and San Bernardino. That's parts of the Inland Empire. And that'll develop on Wednesday and really kick in Wednesday night and last all through Thursday. I don't see an ending until maybe Thursday night. Uh, heaviest Wednesday night and Thursday for sure. And then uh, that's also when our snow levels get above 7,500 feet. That's going to be the primary concern, very saturated conditions by then, additional heavy rainfall rates. So the debris flow threat for sure because of the rates, rock slides, small stream flooding, and, and even some possible river flooding because of the total amount uh, and duration. Here's some of the big numbers, locally 7 to 8 with these two storms from now through Thursday evening. Most of the coastal slopes, three to six, that includes the Santa Ana Mountains. Uh, one to three for Orange County. Um, and that will be more like two to three for Northern Orange County. Uh, one to an inch and a half for Western uh, Riverside and San Diego County. And then the desert areas, uh, generally a half inch to an inch, which is still quite a bit for desert areas. Big storm system on its way. Please stay tuned for updates at weather.gov. If we issue a flash flood warning, that means it's urgent flooding in that area. Um, it's mean it's already occurring or will occur very soon. If we issue a flash flood watch, that means there's the potential for flooding that is dangerous to property and lives. Potential. Doesn't mean it's already occurring, but it means the potential. So the two are different, so get used to those terminologies, um, especially if you live up in the Inland Empire area or Orange County. Um, thanks for tuning in and check for updates from the National Weather Service or follow us on social media.